I can't take it anymore. Just leave me here, guys. Ugh, why is it always my turn to drag this huge wagon when we're climbing up? It's so unfair. I'm exhausted. Ugh. George, don't droop. Uh, Cheer up, we almost made it. Uh, Look at Vera, she's in good spirits. I can't see anything. My glasses are all foggy now. Look, we're almost there. Now get down there and take a turn, and then we'll be done. Push me down, please. Please, somebody. I'm so stuck. It's my turn now. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Where could this trailer have gone to? Oh dear, how can we go to the shore without sunshades and inflatables? Well, the trailer could not run away alone. It was stolen. We must find it. Oh goodness, do we really have to? Hey there. Did you see our trailer come by this way by any chance? It's so lovely and green. What, your trailer ran away? <laughs> <laughs> lovely and green. <laughs> Guys, you're so funny. <laughs> Did you see that? See what? A red elephant with a blue trunk. Uh-oh, it lives there in the bushes, I think. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a red elephant with a blue trunk. trunk. <laughs> oh, me, oh, my. I must be seeing things again. It's the heat, I know it. I must be hallucinating. Ethan, I haven't seen the trailer. I think that it's far more comfortable to sunbathe in the nice cool shade, guys, than in the sun for sure. <gasps> huh? What was that? Did you see that now? What? A red elephant? No, something else. I saw a blue camel with stripes. It went in the bushes <laughs> together with the red elephant. I'm pretty sure I've got sunstroke. I think you should take me to the shade now, please. I need to lay down for a while. I'm having heavy visual hallucinations. Oh dear, he's got sunstroke. I'm stricken, guys. Oh, guys, it's too bad you don't see my hallucinations. They're so very beautiful, guys. Oh. <laughs> Now it's clear. I can see what kind of hallucination you've got. Let's go fast before it disappears. <laughs> my red elephant is so lovely and soft. Yeah, and my blue camel is ever so comfortable. Go on, lay out in the sun. Burn yourself and wait for your own hallucinations as well. <gasps> what if I read my love fortune about Sam Sparky? He loves me, he loves me not, he doesn't care, he kisses a lot. He'll hold me tight, he'll send me to depot. Ah! Uh, what does that mean, I wonder? But why? <gasps> Sam Sparky, I went on a daisy that you're going to send me to depot. Why would you do that? What did I do wrong? Leave me alone, Vera, I'm writing. No, answer me. You know what? Go to, go to depot. So I see the Daisy was right. <laughs> hey, 
Hey guys, now I can finally and truly determine what guys think about me. Oh, that's so interesting. You created a machine that reads the mind? I don't need any machines for that. Look here. First, you need to name a guy. Let's say that it's George. Okay. He loves me, he loves me not. He doesn't care, he kisses a lot. He'll hold me tight, he'll send me to depot. He loves me. So you love me. Oh, this is nonsense. It's true, daisies don't lie. You're in love with me. It's wonderful, I've got a new admirer. No, I'm not in love. Just stop it. Anyway, this is not scientific. What can a silly flower know? Hey, George! Come on out! Forget about this, Daisy. Come on, really. Let's find out about you. So, Ethan. <laughs> hmm. He loves... Who does she think she is? Science denies it. Those daisies don't know the truth. It just doesn't make any sense. You don't love me? That's Why? not true. Huh? One of you loves me. And the other one doesn't love me whatsoever. I'm really hurt. The most surprising thing to me is that now she's offended by me. We must show her our calculations, and she will see. And she'll understand that she was mistaken. If she understands. She will understand how wrong she really is. Let's give her a pretty bow to make her feel better, just in case. And maybe she'll stop being silly. <laughs> That's it. I'll never speak with the boys anymore. Vera, I want to show you proof that you are wrong. Yeah, right. You want to prove that I'm incorrect? What boy in the whole uh, wide world can tell that he's in love? This is all stupid, Vera. You don't love me. Everything I do for you, you just think is nonsense. You know what? If you believe in those stupid daisies, let me read it. <gasps> she loves me, she loves me not. <gasps> she loves me, she loves me not. She doesn't care, she kisses a lot. She'll hold me tight, she'll send me to Depot. She loves me, she loves me not. She does care, she kisses a lot. Aha, I got you! Oh, that's right, my friend. So... Either say that reading your love fortune on daisies is silly or kiss George. Okay, I believe you. Daisies are silly. I'm not gonna kiss anyone. Hooray! Hooray! So, we're good now? Mm hmm. <laughs> 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 this is a present as a sign of our friendship. This is so romantic. Thank you, guys. <gasps> wow, she kissed me anyway. Mm -hmm. huh? Well, well, I think I need to get to know daisies better. Aha, uh, 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 uh. uh -huh, Ethan, I got you. <laughs> no, Arnold, that's just a stump. I'm here. Oi, huh. who's that? Another stump? And just who do you think you are calling a stump? Ha <laughs> 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 Oh, what? Uh, Grandpa Billy, I won't do that again. Uh. Guys, Grandpa Billy was chasing me in my dream with a watering can. <laughs> and he caught you? No, I woke up. It's interesting how Grandpa Billy splashes and grumbles all the time, and everyone still loves and respects him. But why? I think because he splashes and grumbles, and he is very rusty. That means we should get rusty if we want to be loved and respected? How rusty should we get for respect? We've been sitting in the water for an hour. Hey, kid! 
did! Have you seen my umbrella? It flew away! Or the general! I lost him! <laughs> That's it! I'm Rusty. Do you respect me, Mrs. Dove? If you see the umbrella, tell him that I'm looking for him. And if you find the general, hang him on the fence to let it dry. The rust isn't enough. We have to splash and grumble, I guess. A pink umbrella and a green general are lost. If found, return to Mrs. Dove. Oh, my favorite umbrella. Where are you now? Ethan, come on, grumble. I don't know how to, but I'll try. Bo 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 What? Mrs. Dove, do you love and respect us now? I will show you love and respect when I catch you! It's a lovely day. It's quiet. Miss Dove, wait, your umbrella. What do you think? Do they love and respect us after this? I'm not sure about that. Modernization, huh? A modernization? A modernization. When something is old and worn out, it gets replaced with something new and not so worn out. Do you want to replace Grandpa Billy with some Sparky? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. Uh. I suggest replacing Grandpa Billy's coal-firing furnace with an electric razor. Oh. What do you think, huh? I don't see your motor moving anywhere. It'll move for sure. Go and get me a flatbed trailer. Huh. Uh, oh! Ow! Ugh! that this Ouch. motor has moved Ouch. you Ouch. off the rails. Oh, uh, so what? But I fixed it. That is in theory. And what about in practice? Um, in practice, it gave me an electric shock as well. <sighs> okay, drawing the last nut up tight, and it's done. Aha! Congratulations, Grandpa Billy. Modernization is now a success. And now, you can go for your first test run. <laughs> hey, Grandpa Billy, welcome to the modern high-speed world. Have any brakes? <laughs> I mean, I've got no brakes. It doesn't have any brakes. Hey, hey, I can't stop. Why can't Grandpa Billy put on the brakes? Unfortunately, in theory, Grandpa Brake System isn't adapted for high speed, you know. All right, then. We'll just have to try and stop him in practice. Don't you worry, Grandpa Billy. It's all right. Don't hide your fear. Tell me something. 
something, anything. Uh, uh, it's not exactly what I wanted to hear right now. Problem of stopping Grandpa Billy. Now let's think about tearing Grandpa Billy off the rails. Ooh. And about returning Grandpa Billy his old coal firing furnace. That's what I want more than anything. So listen up, I build a cable way with a motor set. It helps Grandpa Billy to get cold. You are awesome. You actually did your modernization. Ugh. Oh, modernization. Well then, everybody, the walking tour's finished. Is everybody out? No, I think Ethan and... Sure, everybody is out. I will tell you later. <laughs> I think we've been forgotten here. That's awesome. I've always dreamt of spending the night in a museum. <clears throat> oh, you know, I need to get home right now. I forgot about some very important issue that I have to do. What a coincidence. I've got urgent matters too. Wow, Ethan, you're toast. That must be at least a thousand years old. I have to go and tell the teacher about this then. They'll tear you into spare parts. Do you know how valuable museum pieces are? In fact, the puzzle that we've assembled last week was far more complicated than this. When I came back, there was no vase. Did it have any distinguishing marks? Its weight, height, gender, uh, I mean color? It had, well, you know, a graceful bending, a really nice shape. Not enough. This vase is antique, therefore we need to make a special glue. We shall become restoration artists. What? Who? Restoration artists are the guys who repair broken pieces of art, especially for museums. This is an ancient recipe of the glue that can stick anything in the world. When the night is dark and the moon is full, into the forest these shall go. Find the root in the soil, grind it, and put it in a copper to broil. Ooh. Ow! Ah. Look, there's the plan from the book. Shall we dig from here? Until morning? According to the wheel diameter, the thieves were quite short in height. And that means they won't get very far from me. Where are the roots? Um, I think we've gone too far, Ethan. Look, there's something else down there. Aha! Well then, I've got you. Whoa, ho! Well, that's a big storage hole there. Upon my word, this isn't us. Somebody else buried it in there. Due to Ethan and George, our museum collection has been joined by a new set of ancient relics. Thank you. You've become real archaeologists. Good for you. <laughs>
I think you've still got a long way before you become oh. restoration artists. <laughs> Let's all sit by the fire in the evening. Yes, let's all tell horror stories. Oh, poor me. I washed the truck full of curtains. How would I dry them? There's a school inspection tomorrow. I'll spread them and run around to let the wind dry them up. Oh, poor me. Look at us here. We have to get dry as well. Oh, oh! It's time. It's time for horror stories. Are you ready for this? Well, I'm out of here. Hey, where are you going, huh? All horror stories are stupid. If you've been prepared in advance, then you won't be scared. Come on, are you scared or what? No, I'm not scared at all. If you're not scared, then go to the lake and come back. Do it right now and show us. And make sure you're not afraid of ghosts. Ghosts don't exist anyway. You see, I'll show you. George, don't go too far away, please. Watch me. I'll go to the lake and I'll come back. <laughs> 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 George doesn't believe in horror stories. He's so boring. Hey, listen. Why should we be scared of some ghosts? Right, we wouldn't be scared. But if we were him, of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, nothing to be scared of. Ghosts don't exist. I know that because I'm not afraid of anything. <laughs> Are we scared of these tents? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a question, guys. Who was it that gave me such a terrible fright in the forest? We haven't been in the forest. <laughs> Is that Mrs. Duff? Oh, oh, it's so cold here. Oh, oh. Ha! Oh, it's so cold here, and to think that I've washed a truck full of curtains. I need to dry them up until tomorrow. That's when the school inspection comes. Oh. Mrs. Dove, let me help you, please. Ghosts don't exist. They don't. They don't. Ghosts don't exist. They don't. They don't. <laughs> Happy birthday. Mm -mm -mm. Happy birthday. Pum pum. Dum -da -dum. Pum pum pum. Happy birthday. Pum pum. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Pum pum. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Well, let's see now. Mm -hmm. Hey! Oh! oh. Hi there! Mm. What have you done now? I spent the whole day trying to make this tower. Oh, I'm sorry, George. 
Hey, George, do you remember what day it is today? The day you broke my tower, that's what. No, today is Vera's birthday, you know. Oh, wow. A birthday cake, candies, and balloons. Let's go, Ethan. Hey, George, wait up. That's not the most important part. Hey! What is the important part? A present. Do you know what present you'll get for her? I bet you already have something in mind for her. Yeah, I'll pick some flowers for her. I want to pick flowers for her as well. The most beautiful and the most marvelous flowers. No, I will pick the most marvelous flowers for her. Woohoo! George, what have you done now? Look, you totally broke the flower. Look. No, Ethan. That was my flower. I can do what I want with it. That's it. I'm going to pick them all by myself. Uh, that's just great. Hey. Flowers. Ahoo. Better than nothing. <gasps> <laughs> oh, George, look what you did. Look what you did. Mm, ouch. It took me two hours for all this. Forgive me, Ethan. Forgive me, too. It's Vera. What should we do? I guess she wants to know why we're still not at her party. Don't pick up, Ethan. We can't go to a party without a present. Uh-huh. I have an idea. Hmm? Here, a bit of this and a bit of that. There. Pop art. What did you say? Now let's get to Vera right this minute. Everyone is asleep. Let's leave the present right here. When Vera gets up in the morning, she'll see it. Let's go wait till she wakes uh -huh. up. Wow, what is it? Vera! Huh? Happy birthday! This is the present that we've made especially for you. Uh-huh, pop art. <laughs> oh boy, I was waiting for you, not for your pop art. You're my friends. Well, we... And you didn't even answer the phone yesterday. Vera, we tried so hard not to disappoint you. All we wanted was to please you, that's all. Uh -huh. Don't be mad at us. We're really sorry. Oh, you're so funny. Let's go inside, guys. I've got some tasty cake for you. Is it with candles? Of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> This is real cinema. It's not about cars or planes or stuff like that. It's much deeper than that. It's about us. You know, I was wondering what movies this train took part in. Well, he doesn't take part anymore. He's retired now. Arrival of a Train is the first movie in the history of the cinema. This is why there are no good movies about trains anymore. Hey there, guys. Why don't we make our own movie? That is not an easy task at all. We need a writer and a director. You're the smartest one here, George, so you'll be the director. Yes, I will, Ethan. We'll make the best movie about trains. Please help us. Please help us. Is that all? Hey, George, how come I don't have any more lines to say? Ethan, you don't understand. Your part is very important. Roll camera. Action, go. You're walking and having fun. Vera, laugh. 
Evil villain kidnaps Vera now. Oh! Anthony, show some pain. <laughs> right, cut. Ethan, now Sam Sparky will pass you with kidnapped Vera, and you call Anthony. You'll be calling him for his help. And action. Ah, uh, help me, help me, please. Vera is in danger. I'll save her. Stop, Ethan. You don't save her by yourself, you know. You just call Anthony for his help, like it says. Can't I do that? I can save Vera, you know. Ethan, you must play your own role. That's just how I wrote this scene. Uh, help me, please, please. Help me. Oh, help me. Oh, our great savior, Anthony, please. Not bad. Ethan, try to be more emotional. So slow, Vera. Because we're so tired, Ethan. Yeah, someone didn't want to play the way they should have played in the scene, am I right? It's easy for you to say. You have all the main parts. Ethan, we made the movie for the audience. Not for you, you know. And all the parts are important. And you are not making it any easier. I didn't want to ruin everything. Give me one more chance. Please help me! Please help me! Where did they all go? To an abandoned depot. Cut! That's great! Ethan, great idea about the depot! Please help me! Please help me! Where did they all go? To an abandoned depot! Look at what a great job. Now you see, Ethan, the main thing is to play your part right no matter what. Hey, friends, press the subscribe and watch the new episodes.